Hi everyone, it's Joanna here. Today's workout is perfect for one of those light and easy days, where you want to take things slightly less intense, yet you still want to get a good workout in. So we will be going through a series of exercises that will stretch and strengthen the body. So let's start your day feeling energized or end your day feeling amazing. Let's get into it. So let's get straight into the workout. We'll start things off easy and I want you to be fully aware of your body throughout this exercise, okay? So let's start right at the edge of your mat. The first workout is going to be inchworm to downward dog. If you're starting off, you can start by bending your knees slightly, keep a slight bend on your knees and just reach towards the floor and slowly inch forward to the end of the mat Keeping your body in a solid plank position, push your butt up and back into a plank and slowly inch yourself back, okay? As you reach up, inhale, breathe in, release, inch forward, getting into a nice solid plank, flat back, push your butt up and slowly inch yourself back. Breathe in. Now, let's Keep your legs slightly straight, okay? Straight legs, feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Into a nice solid plank, push into the ground. Pike your butt up into a downward dog, back into a plank. And straight legs, push yourself back up and breathe in. Good. Right, let's move on to the next exercise. Let's slowly inch forward and let's start in a high plank position. This is called the world's greatest stretch. So step your left foot forward, release your arm, stretch up, feel the stretch on your back, your lats, look up, release, push your back, push your leg back into a plank position and change side. Good. So I want you to make sure that the back leg is always straight. Reach up, look straight up, release, solid plank and change. So, be fully aware of the movement, stay connected with your body, and remember to breathe in and out. Good, solid plank, step forward, release. One more time, push back, and slowly inch back up. All right, Whew. Good job. All right, the next workout is going to be a little bit more challenging. So again, let's get into a plank position. Let's start on your knees. Give me one push up. And now, push yourself back into a bare position. Stretch your back. Repeat, one push up. And up, push yourself back. Okay, for more challenge, stay on your toes. One nice solid push up. So this is the part where we will be strengthening your body. Push up and push your butt back. Feel the stretch on your back. Good. One solid push up. Choose your option, either on your toes or on your knees. Really push your butt back. Feel the stretch on your back. Up. Nice. Looking really strong. Breathe out and good job. Okay, now let's get into a standing position, all right? So, the next exercise is going to be a narrow squat with a twist. So keep both legs together. Again, what I want you to do is reach up and as you squat down, twist to one side and reach up and twist to the opposite side. So try to get your elbow across. Good, stretch and feel the work on your legs. Good job. Nice and easy. Up, stretch and twist. Remember to breathe in and breathe out as you twist. Keep going. Whew. I'm breaking a sweat. I'm feeling my heart rate. Slowly increasing. One last twist and good. All right, now, short breaks, okay? Step right in front of your mat. Now, let's get into a reverse lunge position. 
with a knee driver. So, find your balance, step back, reverse lunge, and drive your knee up. Okay, reverse lunge and drive your knee up. Simple, now let's add your arms. Feel the stretch, reverse arm, reverse lunge, and forward. So find your balance. Good. Out and in. Find and look at one focal point. You should feel the work on the front leg. Good job, stretch. As you lunge back, feel the stretch on your arms and your back. And feel the work on your leg. And good. All right, change the opposite side, okay? Your left leg right now. All right, are we ready? Let's work the legs. Step your right leg back, reach up and in. Good job. I know. <laughs> Let's work on your balance as well. It's going to be a little bit challenging. Stay with me. Look straight ahead. And just pace your breathing. Breathe in as you lunge back. Breathe out as you drive your knee up. Good job. And up. Really well done. Up. Nice. So find your own rhythm and keep to it. Last one more. Up and just release. Very, very well done. Okay, we're going back down onto the floor. All right, so let's get back into a high plank position. This time it's going to be three-legged dog with a crunch. So lift your left leg up. All right, hike your butt up and drive your knee towards your elbow. Hike it up, push it up, feel the stretch and drive it in. Good job. Again, this workout will stretch and strengthen the body. Okay, take it slow. Really be aware of all the movements, all the muscles in your body working together. Push it up making sure that your hips are aligned. Do not over twist, bring it back forward, good. There you go. Drive your knee in, good job. And drop your leg, okay? Now let's change to the other side. Are we ready? Remember to push into the ground, give me a solid plank, do not pike or arch your butt. Ready? The opposite leg up. And now drive it in. Good job. Push it as high up as you can. And try to drive your knee towards your elbow. Breathe in. Good. And breathe out. Push it up, hike it up. Good. Few more. Up, drive it forward. Last one more. Drive it forward. And place your feet down. Very, very good job. Okay, now let's just push yourself back up, okay? Take a short break if you need to. We're working on alternating side plank. So again, let's start in a high plank position. And all I want you to do is release your left arm, twist to the side, drop it back down, and now change to the other side. And as you twist, remember to keep your hips high. So do not dip your hips, okay? Do not drop it, keep it up high, and change. Twist, look straight up, working on your balance as well as your core strength. The other side going Whew. light and easy day yet still slightly challenging and drop it back down okay now let's lie flat onto the mat okay come down onto the mat 
and we're working on glute bridge, okay? So drive your butt up, and what I want to do is drive your left knee in, keep your left leg straight, bring it back down, and place it back down. So reverse the leg. Oh, I can hear my knees clicking. <laughs> what about you? Whew. Straight and back down. So remember to always maintain a glute bridge position. All right, do not dip it. Drive it high, bring it high up. Knee in, up, as straight as you can. Feel the work on your quads. Up, feel the work on your glutes. And back down, up. Good job, there you go. And back down. Okay, oh, two more exercises and you will get a short break, all right? Next is going to be a crab toe touch. So what I want to do is get into a reverse plank position. All I want to do is reach for the opposite toe, feel the stretch along your hamstrings, but yet at the same time, this is a total body strengthening workout, okay? Touch. If this is too difficult, start with your shin. Okay, for, a, for more challenge, reach for your toes. Whew. Find your balance. Reach, tap, tap, and tap. Good job. You're almost there. Last one more. And just drop it down. All right, final exercise. Let's get into a reverse position. Start on all fours, okay? All I want to do is hover your knees off the floor and shoot your right leg through, releasing your left arm and get back into all fours and reverse the direction. So this is sort of like a break dancer move. Release and up. Again, a lot of core work, a lot of balancing work, and a lot of strengthening work as well. Release, don't rush through the workout. One move at a time. Shoot your leg through and drive it back. Remember, remember to keep your knees off the mat. One last one more. The other side and just drop it down. Okay, very, very well done. That is the end of the first round. Take a short one minute break. Keep yourself hydrated, wipe your sweat, and guess what? We want to repeat the entire sequence again. Right, welcome back. I'm sure you are all warmed up and feeling really stretched right now. So for the second round, let's push yourself a little bit further and choose the harder option, okay? Right, let's start with the first workout. Step right at the edge of your mat. The first workout is going to be inchworm to a downward dog. So keep your legs straight. Try to reach for the floor and slowly inch forward. Solid plank, push your butt up and back into a plank and slowly inch back. Take a deep breath in, breathe in all the good energy, release and slowly inch forward, okay? Pike your butt up, push your heels into the ground, nice solid plank and slowly inch back. Breathe in, deep breaths, good, release. Inch forward, up, Plank and slowly inch back, breathe in, good job. Keep with the flow, push your butt up and just staying in this plank position, okay? We want to get into the world's greatest stretch. So drive your left foot forward, remember as you release, keep the back leg straight. So we're going to strengthen the leg at the same time. Don't drop your knees. Keep your legs straight and feel the stretch along the back. Good, drop it. 
Remember, legs straight throughout, okay? Nice solid plank, forward. And push it back, good. There you go. Feel the stretch along your hip flexors and your inner thighs as well. Up, back down. One last one, on each side, back down, and back. All right, are you ready to stay in this plank with me? We're going to get into push-up to bear, okay? So choose your option either on your knees or on your toes. Are we ready? Nice, strong push-up, let's go. One push-up, push it back. Good, push-up, and back, remember. Do not dip your hips down, okay? Nice solid push up and into a bear. If it's getting tough, get onto your knees, all right? Push it back and good job. Whew. This is the strengthening part. Push it back up I promise you only a few more and we are done oh my gosh I am sweating all right now let's get back up the next workout is going to be a narrow squat with a twist so I'm going to go and show you the side view so reach up as you squat down twist to the opposite side and twist Reach up, good. Remember that we're working on your quads and your glutes. So remember to push your butt back. Imagine that you're sitting on a chair, okay? And as you twist, look as far back as you can. Good job. Twist. Reach up. Sit really far back and up. All right. Oh. The next workout is going to be a slight challenge. We'll be working on your balance. So step forward. We're getting into reverse lunge with knee driver. Are we ready? Let's go. Step back and up. Let's do it together with your hands. Up. Good job. Breathe in. As you lunge down, breathe out as you come up. Again, the tip here is to look straight ahead, find one focal point, and do not rush through the workout. Good. So the focus here is on your front leg. Good job. Here's your breathing. The only competition is yourself. So listen to your body, flow with your body. Good job. Okay, drop it back down and we are changing to the other side. Okay, now left leg forward, right leg back. Are we ready? Let's breathe in and let's go. Up, release. Lunge all the way back, take a wide step and push through your front heels. There you go. Push up. Looking good. Few more. Stay with me. Solid reverse lunges. Up. Pull yourself back, oops, last one more. <laughs> Don't lose your balance there. And just shake it out, okay. We're getting back down onto the mat. Three-legged dog with a crunch. So let's start in a high plank position, okay. Remember, push into the floor, reach your leg up, point your knee towards your elbow, and push it up. 
do not rotate your hips too much. Okay? Keep your hips squared. Drive it in. Feel the work on your abs. Good. Push it up. Stretch your back. Drive it in. And good. Remember, breathe in as you drive your leg up and breathe out as you crunch. Last two more, up. Feel the stretch. Last one more, up and in. Okay, if you're with me, stay in this plank position. If you need to, get into a child's pose, all right? Let's work on the opposite leg. Right leg up, drive it in. Good job. Push it all the way back. Look at your toes and elbow towards, knee towards your elbow. Good. Nice. So remember to really push into the floor. In. Good job. Reach up and in. Last few more. Give it one more three-legged dog and just drop your knees. Oh, if you need to get into a child's pose, all right? All right, next, let's focus on our core and our obliques as well. Alternate side plank. So start in a high plank position. Release one arm, reach it all the way up, twist and release the other arm. Up. Good. Good job. Again, remember to find your balance. If this is too much, you can always start on your knees. With all that work we have put in, it is going to be a little bit more challenging towards the end of this workout. But stay with me. I know you're strong. You're looking really strong. All right. Let's push through. That's two more. Up. One more. Up. And drop it back down. Okay. Good news. Let's lie down on the mat. Whew, but we're not done yet. So remember, keep your heels close to your butt. Get into a glute bridge position. Release, drive your knee in, straight leg, and back down. Okay? So gaze straight towards the ceiling. Squeeze your glutes throughout. Up and down. So do not drop your hips. Squeeze the butt. Straight leg and back down as straight as you can, okay? Really push your heel into the ground. Good. Straight. Looking really good. And down. And just drop it down. Okay, now push yourself back up. Let's get into a table top position. You know this, okay? <laughs> this is called crab toe touch. All the way to do is release one leg and try to tap your toes. All right, good. So looking like a crab, <laughs> tapping your toes. Good job. So really brace your core, suck your belly, and reach for your toes. Feel the stretch along your arms and your back as well. Try to kick higher if you can. Kick it straight up. If you're flexible, you should be able to straighten your legs. I'm a little bit tight on my hamstrings. Up. Last few more. One more. And just drop it down. Okay, final exercise, all right? Final exercise and you are done. I promise you this. Now, let's get into a reverse position. Let's get onto all fours and just hover your knees off the mat. And remember, kick through, release your arm. So, opposite leg with opposite arm. Kick through and just release. 
The whole point here is to be in a nice controlled movement. Do not rush through the workout. Getting back onto all fours and kick. Good job. You're halfway there. Release, back, and release. Nice. Can we keep going? This is your final exercise. All right, that's two more. One more, and just drop it back down. Okay, let's just get into a child's pose and just bring our heart rate back down, okay? Just breathe in and breathe out. We have worked hard for the past 25 minutes. So let's just take this moment to drive your heart rate back down. Breathe in and out. Good job. And now slowly push yourself back up. Okay, guys. Really, really well done. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling really, really energized right now. So I'm ready to kick start my day. Or if you want to, you can end your day feeling really amazing. So be sure to check out a lot more workout videos on my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet subscribed, then what are you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for new videos every week. And I will see you in my next workout. All the best. Let me know how this workout felt in the comments below.